But Zane Smith out front again, bringing him to the white. Those four have broken flag. away. It'll be interesting to see if anything can generate on the outside lane. Final lap into the wall. Oh. Green they... still out, and now we go caution. And it is Zane Smith who was so close to winning it in regulation. <laughs> this time he does indeed get it done with the overtime win. It is his fourth career victory. You think you think he won it twice, Ben? <laughs> does, he, does he get a put two checkered stickers on his uh, truck above the door? I am happy for him. Daytona was very kind to him. It could have robbed him yeah. uh, as far as being involved in a wreck or not Fire being able to bring this thing to victory it. lane after it. what had happened. But congratulations, Zane Smith ran a very calculated race. Yeah, and he can thank Parker Kligerman for a healthy push that got him where he was going. There's Chris Lawson, the crew chief, just put the headset on. He'll be so pleased that his driver has won in their first race together. I tell you, Zane's gonna be on a mission this year. I'm happy that he found a ride over there. and He's been second in the championship the last two years. Uh, he's got a lot of good things going for him. And we're a long way from the playoffs, but this win tonight secures him he's a spot Zane in has the a playoffs. super comfortable lead here with one to go. He's He's been fast all day. He's just got to give it 99% all the way home, and the seven's not going to be able to get him. The white flag, the final lap for Zane Smith. Her truck's all over the track, but able to keep rolling and we stay green still that great battle for second between john hunter and alex bowman wow that's a tough move on the outside of turn two right there john hunter gets the spot but the battle with bowman has cost them time to zane smith smith out almost three seconds now bowman taking a peek back on the inside that's Kyle right behind them in fourth. Nemechek trying to hold that position far and away would be his best finish of the season. Three finishes outside the top 20 to begin the year. Kyle's gonna dive down on Bowman. Bowman's gonna try the crossover. Can't quite get there. And that lets the four get away. That gets the four another handful of turns, a half a lap to try to close that space up on the 38. But Zane Smith leads by almost three and a half seconds. Wow. How about this for front row motorsports and owner Bob Jenkins? This team won here a year ago, the inaugural race at Coda with Todd Gilliland behind the wheel. This time it's Zane Smith. Smith won the first stage, won the second stage, and is trying to sweep this race here. It would be the first time that's happened this season. Man, they're still wrecking back in the field. Look at Crafton. <laughs> Crafton's in the dirt coming through 14. He went off the street. You don't think those positions matter? Look at the contact. Fighting for every spot on the final lap. I'm so proud of my row three, Vince. That's exactly, you called it. They went from row three to row one. Five and six went one, two. Zane Smith right. taking over. it home. What a drive. Zane Smith wins at Circuit of the Americas. Where'd Bowman go? He... Fifth career win for Smith. His that, second this season. That was thrilling. That was pretty amazing. That's a mega comeback story right there. I mean, we I had counted them out. I thought I thought there weren't enough laps left, but boy, that truck was quick. Well, there's Alex Bowman and all the damage you can see that his truck suffered here in this final lap. 51 was who I saw him closest to before that camera went off uh, off of them and back onto the 38 and the four. Well, we talked about it being full contact racing. <laughs> that has been that and then some. Yeah, Parker Kligerman had a an off on that last lap as well. Uh, both of those trucks were running so strong. And they're just going to back them up. It makes something oh, happen. Flag, and, uh, flag, able to do that. Final lap for Zane Smith on his way to a third win this season.
in the dominating only yeah, style. Absolutely. And the only driver with multiple wins this season, and he is doing it with an exclamation point tonight. And tip the cap to Ty Majeski. He's going to have a career best finish if he brings it home in that second position. But tonight it belongs to Zane Smith. Right, checker flag. Finally, I'm on that, baby. The winner at Kansas. Amazing solid, execution. Solid run. Yes. Truck. Execution. Exactly. Made my job damn easy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those smiles. You gotta Winning. love those days, right, Mikey? I mean, when, it, when, when it's easy like that in a certain way, just don't take it for granted. You gotta put the effort forth. You gotta go back to the shop and understand what all took place to make it happen and to continue to build to get better. And Chris Lawson, the crew chief for Zane Smith, told me last week at Darlington, he said, if we can get out of here with a top 10, I'm gonna be really happy. He said, cause we're loaded for bear next week. We have got the truck that we really want for Kansas and uh, look what happened here tonight. And you said it so well earlier, Kurt, it's a team sport. The pit crew did their job. Zane did their, his job. The truck came to Kansas loaded for bear as vince said and look what the results are and why did they do that because there's tracks in the playoffs later this year this was a playoff type attitude that i saw right from the beginning with these guys mm. super impressive Rhodes, chandler smith zane smith the green is out nascar overtime for the title there goes zane he got there first Zane Smith on the inside, Rhodes getting squeezed in the middle, and Chandler Smith on the outside. Zane Smith's got the lead, Chandler trying to cross over. Chandler's going to get there, Vince. Side by side, Chandler Smith in that 18 truck, now to the bottom. He's going to slide up, and this could open the door for Rhodes. Rhodes coming in, the white flag is out, the final lap, throw a blanket over the three for the championship. Zane Smith has got it, but Chandler Smith on the inside taking a look. That's Rhodes on the outside. Down the back stretch. He's Zane got Smith. The runner up each of the last two years. Can Rhodes get to the bumper and move him? Zane Smith is winning it, and he has got it. The championship goes to Zane Smith. Oh, man. How good is that? Wow. Oh. Is it Saturday yet? What a finish. What a finish. Crew Chief Chris Lawson did not hesitate. Brought him down pit road on lap 137. There he is right there. Put four tires on that truck. A year ago after this race, he didn't even know if he'd have a job. Didn't have a job. Had no idea where he'd be racing in 2022 and this was the team that gave him a chance and he has delivered what about a dream season vince win daytona to start the season head to phoenix win it to win the championship in style yes what a way to reward bob jenkins and front row motorsports and what a show they saw tonight. He's been sad all week, maybe three times is the charm. Third time in the championship four, runner up the first two times. He's right. Jamie Little is with Chris Lawson, the winning crew chief. And the winning crew chief, Chris, getting hugs all around. And Chris, I watched you through this whole race. You were up and down this pit box about 10 times. What are the emotions like right now? Your first appearance, and now you're a champion. Uh, I don't even, I really don't even know what to say. It's, uh, I got it's all Zane right there. I mean, uh, we put tires on and let him do what Zane does. And uh, that's what he did. So it's just awesome. It's amazing for this team, for Bob Jenkins, um, MRC, Speedco, Logs, everybody that supported this team all year, um, that believed in this kid, believed in Bob Jenkins. I mean, it's just great. A lot of love throughout this team. Get out there and go celebrate with your guys. Thank you. 
You know, Zane Smith said when, when asked about what's different this time, the third time versus the first two years, and he said he's just had more fun this year, and for that reason, he feels more comfortable, more loose. And uh, well, I'll tell you what, you can't have any more fun than this scene right here, can you? runner-up in back-to-back -back years, and the third time is the charm for Zane Smith. I love you, kid. <laughs> Josh Sims is down with the winner. Fuck yeah, buddy. Fuck yeah, we finally got one together, baby. You are fucking Zane Smith is a champion as he celebrates with the team. And we saw last year, Zane, we were here with you as you finished runner-up another time as he continues to celebrate with his fiance right now. But Zane, I interviewed you last year. You sat there. You looked up in the stands. You talked about how that was one of the lowest moments of your career. With all that in mind, how does it feel now to be a champion? Oh, my God. Third time's a charm. I want this shit more than anyone in the world. I don't... I don't care what anyone says. Thank you, all you race fans. My whole team, man. Oh my god, I was, I was crying that whole lap. Oh my god. Thank you, MRC Construction. Mike Gavel is such a special paint scheme. So many people in his life, and some in my life that I got to meet that meant so much to me. Chris Lawson, Dylan Capello, Kyle Moon, Evan, Randy, Bill, Josh Williams. Never heard you get that excited, but I love you so much. Um, God, my my fiance McCall has stuck through me. With all the brutal times I've wanted this championship for so long, I've wanted this moment all my life. So thank you, everyone. That's all I got. <laughs> Zane, can you bring me through that final restart? What it took to get the lead back, and what was going through your mind on that final lap? I just, I wasn't going to let it go down like that. I just, I was either wrecked or, or I was winning this thing. I, there was no other option. Zane, we talked about you being the runner-up the last two seasons. You come over to front row. What was different about this year and this team that allowed you to get it done? Just last year and the year before, we showed so much speed and should have won a lot more races than we did. But Bob Jenkins is the only reason why I'm here right now. And without him, none of this would be possible. And he, when I came here, all I cared about was the guys that were on this team. And I had seen their work ethic, and I'd seen the effort they put in. And, and I know they want it as bad as I do. And I didn't care what the trucks looked like, what anything looked like. All I knew was their work ethic was there, and, and we could make a championship out of this team. A runner-up the last two seasons, but now Zane Smith is a champion. Back at Phoenix Raceway, where Zane Smith has won the Camping World Truck Series Championship. And the celebration is underway there in front of the championship stage, where we find Jamie Little trying to avoid all the liquid. <laughs> Take it away, Jamie. Thank you, Vince. Yes, the water, the Gatorade is flying, but it is now time to crown a champion as he makes his way up to the stage. First off, I'd like to introduce Tamara Ward, Chief Operating Officer of Camping World, with a few special words. Yes. You know what? It's been a great season with all the teams and all the drivers and all the great fans out there. We are so appreciative of everything that you guys do. But in the end, there's always a champion. And Zane, tonight it's you. Congratulations. On behalf of Camping World, we are so excited to make you the claim of the 2022 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion. And Tamara, on behalf of Fox and everybody at NASCAR, I want to thank you and Marcus Limonis for your continued support of this series for 14 seasons. You guys will be missed, but I know we're going to pass the torch, so thank you. That's right. It's been great. Thanks, everybody. It's been great. And we'll be back someday, I'm sure.
All right, I'd like to introduce NASCAR Senior Vice President of Racing Development and Strategy, Mr. Ben Kennedy. Ben, it's that time. It's time to crown our champion here. Awesome, thank you, Jamie. Congratulations on a fantastic season this year, and what better way to go out in style. Four, four wins this season, two stage wins today, and a dominant way to, to win this, uh, this championship. So congratulations on behalf of NASCAR, the France family, our incredible NASCAR fans that we have here at Phoenix, the folks watching on television. You are 2022 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion. We know you'll make us proud. The big smile on your face, and I know it's all coming at you so fast, but that smile, you've had this demeanor all day, all week really, just that calm, like you knew maybe this was going to be your moment. What has been different about this team? You've talked about your crew chief right here and this entire team behind us. Oh my God, I just love them to death. Uh, their work ethic, the, the hours that they put in, the time they take away from their families, everything they put in, it does not go unnoticed. And I, all hey. I can say is I'm just so proud of them to to be able to fire off our year that we had with a win in Daytona and then to end it with a championship. It just seems unreal. It's a, a moment I've waited for all my life and it wouldn't be possible without each and every single one of them. Zane, you're a West Coast kid from California. I know you've been a racer your whole life, but last year, West Coast, last year at this moment, you didn't know what the future held. You called 120 people and you finally got that one answer. What change did that make in you and your commitment to this sport and wanting this trophy? Yeah, the, the thing is with me, this is all I got. I don't have any backup plan. So all my life, I've always been all in and there is, failure isn't an option. And I've just surrounded myself with incredible, incredible people that I'm so grateful for. <clears throat> Not just from the past couple of years, since I was a little kid, I've just been blessed with people that support me and, and believe in me. And I am so glad I proved them right tonight. I think you're going to make a lot of people proud as a champion. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Zane Smith is the Camping World Series champion of 2022. Let's go back to Vince, Michael, and Phil.